Hello ladies and gentlemen, scaretube 4 here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Blackburn Buccaneer. The Blackburn Buccaneer was a British carrier borne attack aircraft designed in the 1950s for the Royal Navy. Uh, designed and initially produced by Blackburn Aircraft at Borough, it was later officially known as the Hawker Sidley uh, Buccaneer when Blackburn became part of the Hawker Sidley group. But its name is rarely used. It's uh, for sure known by the Blackburn Buccaneer. Uh, the Buccaneer was originally designed in response to the Soviet Union's massive uh, Surdov uh, class cruiser construction program. Instead of building a f new fleet of its own, the Royal Navy could use the Buccaneer to attack these, these ships with relative impunity by approaching at low altitudes below the ship's radar horizon. The Buccaneer could attack using a nuclear bomb or conventional weapons in engagements lasting less than a minute, quickly, quickly flying out of range while its weapons struck. It was later intended to carry short-range anti-shipping missiles to further enhance its survivability against the uh, more modern ship-based anti-aircraft weapons. And uh, the Buccaneer uh, originally entered uh, basically the Royal Navy service in July of 1962 and it is officially retired uh, or was re retired in uh, March of 1994. Uh, it was primarily used by the Royal Navy uh, except it did see some uh, used from the South African Air Force. In total, 211 of these were built and um, everything like that. Uh, the version you can see right here in front is uh, done in a kind of desert schemed camo as requested by our Patreon supporter that uh, basically brought you guys this vehicle today. Um, it's uh, also traditionally seen with a uh, kind of green and gray camo, which is very similar to the Arvo Vulcan, as you guys can see in the background. So uh, you guys can feel free to choose between the two on what you guys want to do. But uh, this one is done kind of more of a desert uh, camo, uh, basically at the request of our uh, Patreon supporter. Uh, speaking of our Patreon supporter, I want to go ahead and give a big thanks to uh, Brick Bros 2016 for making this video possible and for his continued support on this channel. Um, I really do appreciate it. And if you guys are interested in supporting the channel and earning some cool perks like a vehicle of your choice a month, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description uh, where you guys can go ahead and uh, look at the reward tiers and feel free to maybe pledge a small amount if you guys feel like it. Of course, it's not required. You guys will still get, uh, you know, all the same content and everything like that. Um, but, uh, you know, feel free. To check it out if you guys aren't interested so again a big thanks to brick bros 2016 for uh basically sponsoring this video uh anyways let's go ahead and take a look at the uh blackburn buccaneer and see exactly where we're going to be going ahead and uh building so uh starting off on the front we're going to work our way back uh we have the nose up here a uh, pretty standard kind of cone nose for you know most uh jets really uh we have the refueling probe here which uh is in a very strange location if you ask me it's like right in the center um the pilot's uh field of view and it's just I don't know it's just a kind of an odd place to put it um you know at least with some other fighter jets and stuff like that from other nations you have it kind of off to the side or you have it um even just built into the actual nose itself so um interesting uh um refueling probe but um you know cool nonetheless we have the cockpit here i can't recall if this is just a single seat or a two-seater um i want to say it's a single seat but don't quote me on that um so we have the cockpit there uh the royal air force logo on the side here um the intakes on both sides i did struggle a little bit with doing the intakes they're a bit tricky to do uh because they're kind of like an oval shape and we really can't make that in minecraft so i just kind of had to go with this um i had a couple people help me with some other some designs for it and um overall i think this is the best looking one out of all of them uh for the intakes so that's um the intakes on the sides there uh, we have the uh, external fuel tanks mounted on the wings the hard points uh, we have a missile that's on both sides there on the hard points as well uh, the main kind of armament would be equipped in a um, section kind of underneath the bottom of the fuselage kind of I guess you can say like the belly of the aircraft um, it had um, this section here that it could store missiles in and open it up to uh, fire missiles um, so that's where the majority of missiles would technically be located uh, continuing on uh, just some, some more detail shaping with the fuselage as it works it works its way back um, the jet engines here located on both sides um, you know they're nothing too fancy um just very kind of difficult to place them and make them look exactly right so um that's what we have for the engines on both sides there and then we also have the horizontal stabilizer <clears throat> or stabilizers on the, on the top here and also the vertical stabilizer kind of a weird um kind of shape for a vertical stabilizer a little bit different um but um it's still a really awesome aircraft in the west and hopefully you guys do enjoy this build for the blackburn buccaneer um, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Of course, we'll be doing the landed version as well. As you guys can see down below here, we will be doing that as well. Um, so don't worry if you want to build it landed. I'll be showing you guys how to do that as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer. 
uh, layer one. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we're going to be starting off with layer two. The reason why we're starting with layer two and not layer one is because layer one kind of is uh, will be a little bit trickier to do without having layer two. Layer two is a really good base to kind of, you know, go from and basically build the aircraft up and down from. So we're going to start off with uh, layer uh, two and trust me, it's going to be a little bit easier to put layer one on once we get this section finished here. Um, now, a few things before we go and start the tutorial. If you guys are completely new to the, my aircraft tutorials um, and everything like that, the way I like to do these tutorials is I like to go ahead and do half on camera, half off. What this means is I do the center line of the aircraft, I do the right side, and then I let you guys copy the right side over to the left side in between layers. It makes the tutorial a little bit faster for me to produce, and it also makes it so I um, am less likely to mess up. And uh, most of my aircraft really are symmetrical unless I say otherwise. So whatever I do on one side, you just got to do to the air side. So it's a little bit faster and saves me a lot of unnecessary time of just doing the same thing over to the air side. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. And I'll kind of explain that a little bit more as we go through the tutorial. Um, in addition, if you want to build this aircraft landed, you will need to make sure that you guys have a certain amount of clearance for this layer. Layer 2 is approximately 3 blocks off the ground when the landing gear is deployed. So you'll need to make sure that you guys have 3 blocks of space from this layer uh, to the ground. So you should be should be 3 blocks total of solid space in between the ground here and uh, the bottom second layer of the uh, fuselage. Just note that there will be a layer one, so it will be down one more. That we'll have, one, we'll need one more block of space underneath here, uh, but that doesn't really affect it. We need to make sure that this layer, layer two, is three blocks off the ground if you're building the landed. If you're building this thing airborne, no real worries. Um, you guys are pretty much good to go. So, starting off with, uh, we're gonna place down a smooth sandstone block. This could be the very center, or this can be kind of like the front up here uh, near the nose of the aircraft. So, pretty much right about here in that position, ish, right there. I'm going to place down a smooth sandstone block, followed by a sandstone upside down stair facing the direction that you guys want this thing, uh, aircraft facing. So we're going to have our aircraft facing that way right there. We're going to go and put the sandstone and the upside down stair come off the block to face that direction. After the sandstone upside down stair, we're going to place down a sandstone top slab, followed by a wooden trap door on the end. And that's going to do it there for the front. Now we have this smooth sandstone block here. We're going to go and need to place down a row behind it. So we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 smooth sandstone blocks. Uh, followed by 23, 24, and 25. So 25 in total smooth sandstone blocks. If we go ahead and grab our uh, wooden axe here, just to double check before we edit the count, uh, we'll have a total of 25 smooth sandstone blocks after this first one if we can count the first one right up here we're gonna have a total of 26 so uh, just make sure you have a nice count of 26 in total smooth sandstone blocks um, after this uh, row 26 here going toward the back we're gonna place down a sandstone sandstone upside down stair followed by a sandstone top slab a second top slab after it and then we're also gonna place down a wooden trap door in the end uh, make sure you guys pay close attention because the front and back look a little similar, but you can tell them apart because the front only has one sandstone top slab, the back has only two. So make sure that you guys are paying close attention to that. Um, after we have that complete, we're going to go back up to the front up here. So again, this the one sandstone top slab section up here. We're going to place down a wooden trap door, come off the side of this um, sandstone upside down stair. We're then going to follow that up by placing down a sandstone top slab after the wooden trap door. We then want to place down a sandstone upside down stair uh, like that, facing that direction followed by one, two, and three upside down sandstone stairs after it. So we turn this stair into a corner stair and we have three uh, upside down stairs after it. Again, it's gonna be the same thing over here on this side. As you can see, you're just gonna be copying that over in between the layer. Um, after that's done, we're gonna place down a prepare uh, upside down stair next to this uh, sandstone upside down stair. After that, we're gonna take our sandstone upside down, st upside down stairs again. We're gonna place a row going back. We're gonna place down one, two, and three upside down sandstone stairs going back, followed by a sandstone upside down corner stair like so we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some smooth sandstone we're going to place down a row behind this corner stair of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 uh, smooth sandstone blocks going back after that's complete we're going to take a sandstone stair we're going to place down an upside down sandstone stair like this followed by another upside down stair after it so we turn this stair into a corner stair and then we have a regular stair after it after that we're going to place down a sandstone top slab followed by one trap door um, to kind of complete the back there and it'll be the same thing over here on the other side the left side You're just going to copy that same row over to this side um, Going ahead and continuing on we're going to go and take a wither skeleton skull. We're going to go back to our uh, second uh, 
uh, sand, or sandstone stair back from the upper upside down stair. We're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off of it. We then want to go ahead and skip a total of two spaces. We're going to go to this first smooth, smooth sandstone block. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four wooden trap doors coming off of it. Make sure they're on the top of the block and not on the bottom. After that, we're going to go ahead and skip another space of two of smooth sandstone blocks. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four cobblestone walls. As you can see, a space of two in between these wooden trap doors and the cobblestone walls. We then want to take our smooth sandstone blocks, we're going to place down one and two smooth sandstone blocks going back, followed by a sandstone upside down stair like so, and a sandstone top sub like that. After we have that done, we're going to go, and go over uh, to the side here of our rows again. We're going to go to these four wooden trap doors here. We're going to place down a row of four of sandstone top subs coming off those four wooden trap doors. Uh, going to the front of the aircraft, we're going to place down one more sandstone top sub that sticks out from the row of four like this, followed by two wooden uh, trap doors on the slab like that. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and go and work our way toward the back. So going toward the back off this sandstone top slab here, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four sandstone top slabs going back, followed by two wooden trap doors like that. After that's complete, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves a smooth sandstone, uh, or we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves cobblestone walls. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go from this wooden trap door here, so it's kind of like the one at the end of the row four more toward the back. We're going to go ahead and skip a space and then place down a cobblestone wall after that cobblestone wall we're going to place down one and two uh going toward the front so you have a nice row of three there of um, cobblestone walls after we have that done we're going to place down a sandstone top sub on either end uh or, sorry both ends of the uh, row of three cobblestone walls followed by a wooden trap door coming off of that uh top sub facing toward the front after that's complete there uh we will want to go ahead and grab ourselves sandstone um or smooth sandstone block we're going to place it down next to the sandstone top sub off this smooth sandstone block toward the front we're gonna place down two one and two uh, sandstone top slabs uh, going back uh, along these cobblestone walls we're gonna place down one two and three smooth sandstone blocks followed by a sandstone upside down stair and then a sandstone top slab like so followed by a wooden trap door um, going toward the back once that's done we're gonna go and copy this kind of layer right this row right here over to this side so we're gonna place down a wooden trap door come off this sandstone top slab in the front here a sandstone top slab after it three cobblestone walls, a sandstone top slab, and that's going to kind of do it there for the external fuel tank. For the missile itself, we're also going to go ahead and throw this on. Um, so for this, uh, we want to go ahead and uh, start off by placing down a kind of row of two blocks coming from the sandstone top slab here in the rear. So we're just going to kind of place down a couple of placeholder blocks going over, and then we're going to place down a quartz top slab. So it's going to have, it's going to kind of be over here, um, kind of like that. So two blocks away from this sandstone top slab here in the rear. Um, once we have that done, we're going to need to grab some materials. We're going to need signs, um, a skeleton skull, and we're also going to need some dark oak with fence posts, as well as a quartz stair, and also a stone button. For the missile itself, very simple. We're going to place down a uh, skeleton skull, come off the top, the quartz top side facing toward the front of our aircraft. After that quartz top side, we're going to place down one, two, and three quartz top sides back, followed by a quartz upside down stair, which is going to face this direction like so. After you have that done, we're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves a uh, block. We're going to need to place down a block on either side of the uh, course upside down stair here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate on top of that block. And we're going to have it opened up like so, so it connects up to the court stair and break the blocks that are underneath the fence gates. After that's done, on the back of the stair, we're going to place down a stone button. And we also want to place down a sign here on both of these dark oak wood fence gates on the back there like that. After that's done, we're also going to go ahead and place down a sign on both sides of this quartz top slab up here in the front where the skeleton skull connects to. After that's all done right there, that's going to do it for layer uh, two of the uh, fuselage of the aircraft. You can see from up above kind of what we have going on here, um, the shaping of it, everything like that. So make sure what we do on the right, what we do on the right side here, you're going to copy over to the left side, and you guys will be good to go for this layer. Anyways, that's going to do it for uh, layer two. With that, let's move on to layer one. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we go ahead and move on to layer 1. For layer 1, we're going to basically build upon what we had in layer 2, and you'll kind of see here what I mean by it being a little bit easier for us to start off with layer 2, and then pretty much add on uh, layer 1. So, to start off with, we're going to go up to the front here. Uh, we want to go ahead and go to these <clears throat> uh, sandstone upside down corner stairs on both sides here. Uh, near the front, we're going to place down an end rod on the bottom of both those stairs on both sides. In between them, we should be at the second uh, smooth sandstone block back from this sandstone upside down stair. We're going to place down a stone button on the bottom of that block. After that stone button, we're going to place down a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 wooden trapdoors back. We then want to place down a sandstone slab 
fall by a sandstone up stair, which is going to be facing toward uh, the front of the aircraft. Behind that stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight smooth sandstone blocks, followed by one, two, and three sandstone top slabs, and then a wooden trap door on the end here. Going out to the sides now, we're going to go ahead and go and back up to this sandstone half slab and the sandstone upside down stair. We're going to place down a sandstone half slab on both sides of this first one right here. We're also going to follow that up by placing down a corner stair on either side of this stair like that. Going back from that stair, we're going to go and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and uh, just seven sandstone stairs back. We're also going to place down another sandstone upside down corner stair right here after the sandstone stair. Coming off the sandstone uh, corner stair, we're going to place down one and two sandstone top slabs, fall by a wooden trapdoor like that. So you should get something that kind of looks like this now for the bottom of the aircraft uh, for layer one. And as I mentioned, that's pretty much it for it. It's uh, pretty simple and it was just a lot easier just to go ahead and add on um, a little bit later from it. Anyways, that's going to do it there for uh, layer one. With that, let's move back up and start working our way up of the aircraft again, starting with layer three. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. For layer three, we're going to go ahead and start off by going up to the front here. Uh, we have this wind trap door that's on the very front of the nose of the aircraft. We're going to go ahead and place down a sandstone stair on top of it. We then want to place down a sandstone half slab coming off the stair so it sticks out one past this wooden trap door from layer two. Um, so you should get something that looks just like that in the front there. Behind this sandstone stair, we do have a lot of smooth sandstone we need to place down here. So in total, we're going to have a row of what is going to be 33 of these smooth sandstone blocks going back from this sandstone stair. So 33 smooth sandstone blocks going back. Um, if you did that right in 33, you should have the smooth sandstone blocks stick out one past this wooden trap door from layer two. Um, after that, we're going to place down two sandstone top slabs after this row of 33, and then a wooden trap door there on the very end. We're going to now work our way off to the sides now. So starting off with our wither skeleton skull, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull up here on the front on either side of this uh, smooth, or that sandstone stair like that. We then want to place down one and two cobblestone walls going back from the wither skeleton skull, followed by a sandstone stair and then a sandstone corner stair, just like that. Same thing there on both sides. After we have that done, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block. It's going to be the same thing on both sides here, followed by a stone bun on the side of that smooth sandstone block. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a yellow hardened stain clay block. We're going to place it down next to this smooth sandstone block like this, and also a stone bun on the side of it. Uh, we will need to go ahead and grab ourselves some blue and red wool. We're going to place down a blue wool block, followed by a red wool block on top of the prepare upside down stair, and a blue block or blue wool block after it. Uh, we then want to take our smooth sandstone again. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 smooth sandstone uh, full blocks going back, followed by a sandstone upside down stair, a sandstone top slab, and a uh, wooden trap door on the end there, like so. Uh, going ahead and going off to our next row out to the side again. We want to start off by taking some sandstone stairs. We're going to place down an upside down stair that's going to be coming off this smooth sandstone block right here. So right after the blue wool right here. So it's going to be like this. It's going to kind of connect up to that wooden trap door there. Uh, so we're going to place down a sandstone upside down stair like this. Followed by one and two more after it like so. Um, after that we're going to take smooth sandstone. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and 10 smooth sandstone blocks going back. We then want to go ahead and place down a sandstone stair like upside down stair coming off of this smooth sandstone block like this, followed by an air upside down stair after it. So this stair right here is going to turn into a corner stair and then we have our upside down stair here. After that upside down stair, we're going to place down a regular sandstone stair on the side here, followed by a smooth sandstone block. And then we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three cobblestone walls going toward the rear. Uh, for our next row out to the sides, uh, we want to go ahead and start off by placing down a wooden trap door that's going to be on top of this wooden trap door here. It's going to be like that. And we're going to have it opened up so it faces out toward the outside. You want to make sure that it looks something like that to create this little space right here. Also, on the back of this wooden trap door, uh, we're going to place down another wooden trap door like that after it. Uh, once we have that uh, done, we're going to go and grab ourselves a stone uh, top slab. We're going to place down a stone top slab over this uh, wooden trap door here. And we're going to place down a wooden trap door on the side of that top slab and close it like so. After that, we're going to go and grab ourselves a black wool block. We're going to place down a black wool block on top of the sandstone top slab. Again, a wooden trap door on the side of the block like so. After that, we're going to place down two smooth sandstone blocks, followed by uh, two wooden trap doors along the side of those as well. After those uh, two smooth sandstone blocks, we're just going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight 
smooth sandstone blocks going back like so. We're going to go and grab ourselves a sandstone upstairs on the stair, place it down after this uh, smooth sandstone block here, followed by a nether brick uh, top slab, just like that after it, um, like that for the engines. After that's done, we want to go and go to this row of, uh, we have this row of five of one trap doors on the side here. We're going to go and basically build off of this. Um, so I just want to double check here, make sure we don't have any corner stairs, and we don't. So we're just going to take sandstone stairs and go off this sandstone block. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six uh, sandstone up sandstone stairs along the side here, followed by one and two wooden trap doors like that after that. Uh, after that's all done, we're going to go and basically add on to our uh, hard points on the sides here. So for this, very simply, we're going to go and start off by placing down a row of uh, two sandstone slabs on top of these two sandstone top slabs on the front here, the external fuel tanks, followed by a uh, wooden trap door on the top of the ones on either side like that. After we have that done, along the center, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, smooth sandstone blocks going back like so. And then we're going to place down a wooden, or sorry, a sandstone upside down stair after that row of seven of smooth sandstone. Uh, after that, along the sides here, we're going to go and grab ourselves cobblestone walls. And we're just going to place down, uh, going to the second smooth sandstone block, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six uh, cobblestone walls going back. And same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, and six cobblestone walls going back. Also, on top of this sandstone top sap here, on the sides here, we're going to place down a narrow sandstone half sap on top of it like that to kind of complete those external fuel tanks. After that's all complete there, uh, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves a redstone repeater. We're going to place down a redstone repeater on top of this uh, quartz top sub, like that on the front there of the missile. We're going to then going to place down a sandstone stair after it, followed by a row of one, two, and three cobblestone walls after it, just like that to make the hard point there for the missiles. After that's complete there, uh, we will need to go ahead and kind of go over to the side here. We're going to go from this sandstone stair, we're going to skip a space place down a sandstone top slab like that we can delete this block now we're gonna place down a sandstone top slab like this we're gonna place down one more top slab going forward from this and then we're gonna place down two going back from it so you get something that kind of looks like that um, after that's complete there we want to go ahead and also go to the last sandstone top slab on the back here we're gonna place down a uh, placeholder block skip a space of one out to the side we're gonna grab ourselves a wooden trap door place down a wooden trap door followed by one more that goes back like so so you get something that kind of looks like that for the hard points of the wings so far. And in the next layer, we're actually going to start to build the wings. So you'll start to see this kind of come together a little bit more and look a little bit more connected, I guess. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer three. With that, let's move on to layer four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We have layer four. For layer four, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the front up here. We're going to go ahead and place down a wooden trap door on top of this second smooth sandstone block back from this uh, sandstone stair. So just a wooden trap door like that on top of it. On the third smooth sandstone block, we're going to place down an upside down narrow brick stair, just like that, and that's going to be the start there of our refueling probe. After that, we're going to place down a uh, sandstone half slab behind this uh, this uh, narrow brick stair, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Um, actually, we can probably just make that uh, six of these like gray stained glass full blocks going back from this sandstone half slab. After that, we're going to go and place down a long row here of smooth sandstone, a total of uh, 23 smooth sandstone blocks back from this last light gray stained glass block. And we're just going to place down two quartz half slabs on top of these two quartz top slabs and a wooden trap door on top of this wooden trap door in the end. So that should line up perfectly on the rear there. After that's done, we're going to go back up here to the front and work out to the sides now. So for this, we're going to place down a row of one and two light gray stained glass panes on the side of these two first two light gray stained glass blocks. After that, we're going to place down a uh, brick stair on top of this uh, blue wool block right here. We then want to place down a paper slab like this on top of that uh, red um, wool block. We're also going to place down a uh, sandstone half slab followed by another red wool block after that sandstone half slab. Um, after that's complete there, we're going to go and take our smooth sandstone. Going back from the red wool blocks, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, um, and 17, 18, 19, 20, and um, uh, 21 of these uh, smooth sandstone blocks going back from the red wool block. Let me just go and double check our count here. And yes, it's 21 with one smooth sandstone blocks going back. After that's done, we're going to place down a sandstone stair like this followed by a sandstone corner stair like that on top of this upside down or this uh, top slab here and then we also want to go and place down a wooden trap door on top of the wooden other wooden trap door on both sides just like that 
After that's complete there, uh, we're going to go and go back up to the front here on the sides. So we're going to go and go on top of these sandstone stairs here for the intakes. We're going to go and place down a total of one, two, three, and four sandstone stairs going back and make sure that they're facing uh, toward the center of the aircraft. After that's done, we're going to take your smooth sandstone blocks and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen blocks back, followed by a total of one, two, and three cobblestone walls going back as well. After that's uh, done there, we're going to go and uh, take our um, take our uh, wooden trapdoor. We're going to place it down on top of this wooden trapdoor here, so it's going to open up and be something like that. So just kind of like we did in the previous layer. Uh, and we're also going to place down a wooden trapdoor on the uh, back of it like that to create our intake here. Um, we're then going to place down a stone slab uh, on top of this st uh, stone top slab. Again, a wooden trapdoor on the side that's half slab. And we're also going to place down there black wool block. Again, a wooden trapdoor on the side of that black wool block. After that, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block with a wooden trapdoor on the side of it also. And after we have that done, we're then going to start. Uh, you know, we're then going to stop right there. So uh, after the smooth sandstone block, we're going to go and take our smooth sandstone again. Go back. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine blocks going back. We then want to place down a sandstone stair, followed by a nether brick slab on top of that top slab like that for the back. After that's all done there, uh, we want to go and then start off by taking a sandstone slab. We're going to place it down, come off this smooth sandstone block right there. After that's done, we're going to place down a um, row of one, two, three, four, and five uh, smooth sandstone blocks going back along the side here. We're then going to place down a sandstone half slab, followed by two birchwood um, half slabs as well. Again, uh, continuing for our wings, we're going to go and place down a sandstone half slab coming off this smooth sandstone block. So sandstone half slab like this, followed by one, two, three, and four smooth sandstone blocks back. Again, a sandstone half slab, and we're going to place down two birchwood half slabs going back like that. Um, again, going out to the side here, we're going to place down a sandstone slab coming off this smooth sandstone block right here, followed by one, two, and three smooth sandstone blocks back, followed by a sandstone stair. And then we're going to place down two spruce wood, or sorry, two uh, birch wood um, half slabs going back as well from that. We're going to go and go out and go to this, uh, this, uh, uh, same smooth sandstone block again, keeping this kind of consistent angle. We're going to place down there sandstone half slab, followed by one and two smooth sandstone blocks back, followed by a sandstone stair. And then we're going to place down a sandstone half slab, come off the stair, and then a birch wood half slab like that. Um, after that's done there, we're going to go and again go to the first sandstone, uh, smooth sandstone block, so sandstone half slab. Going back from the sandstone half slab, we're going to place down two smooth sandstone blocks, so one and two back, followed by a um, sandstone half slab, and then we're going to place down two birchwood um, half slabs going back like so. Uh, for our next section over here, we're going to go ahead and go to this um, Sand, smooth sandstone uh, full block here. We're gonna place down a uh, sandstone half slab, followed by one more back from it. We're gonna grab ourselves a purse slab. We're gonna place down a purse slab, followed by a sandstone slab, and also a birchwood slab after it as well. Uh, for our next row over, we are going to go ahead and place down a another sandstone half slab coming off this one right here, out to the side. We're gonna then place down a purse slab, followed by a brick slab, which we will actually need to go and go into our inventory and grab. So a Brick slab right located right here. We're going to place down a brick slab, followed by an air prepare slab, and then a birchwood slab as well. Continue that on. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go to this uh, prepare slab. We're going to place down a sandstone slab, come off the side of it, followed by a prepare slab back, and then a sandstone half slab, and follow that up by placing down a birchwood half slab. Um, when that's done, we're then going to place down uh, a uh, sandstone half slab, come off this prepare slab right here. Followed by one more sandstone half slab back. And just to double check here, we're actually going to place down a total of uh, three back. So three back here. And we also want to take a birchwood half slab. We're going to add on to this right here. So we're going to place down one more birchwood half slab going back from this one right here. And then we want to place down one more over. So that's after that row of three there of um, sandstone half slabs. Uh, we want to place down a second row of three of sandstone half slabs. So one, two, and three. And then again, a birchwood uh, half slab on the end here. And then we're just going to place down a... Uh, sandstone half slab come off this birchwood slab right here followed by one more going toward the front like that for the both sides there uh, one little difference here um, pretty much the only difference that makes this build asymmetrical is uh, we are going to go ahead and add a row of five here of end rods coming off this 
row three here of uh, sandstone half slabs only on the left side of the aircraft. Again, that's only on the left side. You're just going to add this row here of um, end rods. And you can see it's where it's located right here on the wing. Um, so that's, again, only on the left side there. Once you guys have that all complete, that is going to do it for layer four. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer five. For layer five, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by placing down a uh, never brick uh, stair that's going to kind of come off this stair right here upside down at an angle like that, uh, followed by a stone slab full block or top slab coming off the front of the stair. We also want to place down a lever on the back of this never brick stair to kind of connect it to the air stair a little bit more properly so you get something that looks like that for the front refueling probe. After that's done, we're going to go back here to our cockpit. We're going to go to the second, um, like racing west block back. We're going to place down a narrow brick tops or half slab on top of it, followed by a 45 degree wither skeleton skull on both sides of the half slab, like that. Going back from the half slab, we're going to place down a uh, spoo sandstone block like this, uh, followed by a um, like racing west pane on both sides of it. Uh, we then want to place down a row of one, two, three, and four. Uh, like racing stained glass panes back from this one so you have a nice row of five along the side there like that on both sides after that's done we're going to place down a uh, row of um what is going to be uh four of like racing stained glass full blocks going back from this smooth smooth sandstone uh block so a row of four here of like racing stained glass full blocks we then want to place down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and seventeen uh, smooth sandstone blocks going back. Let me just double check my count. And yep, 17 smooth sandstone blocks back from this last light gray stained glass full block. After that row of 17, we're going to place down uh, two uh, birchwood half slabs like this, followed by two wooden trap doors. Going over to the sides now, we're going to go ahead and go up here to the front, where basically where our cockpit is here. We're going to go and build off of this. We're going to place down two uh, sandstone stairs coming off these first two uh, smooth, sand or smooth sandstone full blocks. We then want to place down a sandstone half slab on both sides. We're going to follow that up by placing down one, two, and three wooden trap doors, followed by one, two, three uh, smooth sandstone, or, or sorry, my bad, a row five, um, actually my bad, sorry, a row four here of sandstone slabs, followed by a sandstone stair like this, followed by one, two, three, four, five um, smooth sandstone blocks going back, but they're going to place down an air sandstone stair like this, followed by one and two sandstone slabs back, and then a wooden trap door like that on the rear. Um, once that's done there, we're going to go, uh, go out to the sides again. We're going to go and go to this fourth um, smooth sandstone, uh, or basically sandstone slab back. We're going to place down a sandstone slab coming off of it. Uh, we then want to place down a second slab back, fall by one, two, and three of these um, sandstone stairs on the side there. Sandstone half slab, and then we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on top of this cobblestone wall. And then another wither, wither skeleton skull at about a 45 ish degree angle. Uh, maybe even just like a 30 degree um, if we can get it so something kind of like that um, going back on the second cobblestone wall and you want to make sure that's the same thing on both sides here so whatever you do whatever angle you choose to do just make sure it's on the same same uh, kind of angle on both sides um, after that's all done we then want to go up here to the front uh, we're going to place down a uh, wooden trap door on top of this one right here so it's going to kind of cover up the top here uh, we're going to follow up place down a second wooden trap door after it uh, fall by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight sandstone half slabs going back. Fall by one, two, and three uh, wooden trap doors going back as well uh, for your engines there. Once you guys have that all complete, that is going to do it for layer five. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer six. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer six. For layer six, we're going to go ahead and start off by taking some narrow brick slabs. We're going to place down a narrow brick slab on top of this light gray stained glass full block right here. After that narrow brick slab, we're going to place down two more after it, so you have a nice row of three here. And then we just want to place down a iron trap door after it, uh, just like that, um, to kind of finish off the uh, front cockpit there. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and skip a space of uh, five in between this iron trap door. And so over here, we're going to place down a wooden trap door. So this is going to be on the uh, sixth uh, spruce sandstone block back, so wooden trap door on top, uh, followed by one, two, and three after it, so you have a nice row of four here. We're then going to place down a sandstone slab, followed by a second sandstone slab, a sandstone stair. Behind the sandstone stair, we're going to place down a um, two smooth sandstone full, full blocks, a red wool block, a blue wool block, a smooth sandstone block, a black wool block here with a stone button on both sides, and then we're going to place down a birchwood plank on top of this one right here, and it should end exactly right on top of that birchwood plank there. 
Um, also on the sides here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row two of sandstone slabs next to these sandstone, smooth sandstone full blocks, followed by wooden trapdoor like this coming off the uh, red wool block like this on both sides. Once you guys have that all complete there, that is going to do it for uh, layer six. And with that, we're going to move on to our final layers here, which are basically going to consist of layers uh, seven, eight, nine, and ten. With that, let's go and move on to our last final layers of building the vertical stabilizer and horizontal stabilizer up. All right, guys, moving on to our last five layers. These layers are going to be pretty simple, so we're going to do it all pretty much in one go. We're not going to be doing half off, half on. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and do it all together. So uh, to go ahead and kind of finish this off, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a wooden trap door on top of this second uh, smooth sandstone block. After that wooden trap door, we're going to place down a sandstone half slab, followed by one, two, and three smooth sandstone blocks. We're going to place down a stone button on either side of the third smooth sandstone block back. We're then going to place down a birch wood uh, plank followed by a birch wood up down the stair come out the rear like so going ahead and building upon this we're going to place down a sandstone stair on top of this uh, smooth sandstone block behind the sandstone stair we're going to place down one and two smooth sandstone blocks followed by a stone button on either side of the second smooth sandstone block after that we're going to place down an air birch wood plank going up like so with a wooden trap door coming off the uh, back there of that plank um, once we get that done, we're going to go, and, uh, go up to our next layer here. We're going to place down a sandstone stair on top of this sandstone stair right here on the top, followed by a sandstone half slab that comes off the stair, sticking out toward the front. Um, after we have that done, go back from the stair, we're going to place down one, two, and three smooth sandstone blocks, followed by a sandstone stair on top of this wooden trap door. And we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the front of the stair, as well as signs on both sides of this uh, sandstone stair, like so. After that's done there, we're going to put our horizontal stabilizers on. So for these, they're pretty simple. Uh, we're going to start off by placing down a sandstone slab coming off this um, sandstone stair, followed by a second sandstone slab back, and then we're going to place down two um, birchwood half slabs going back. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go to our uh, the side here. So we're going to go to the second sandstone uh, slab back. We're going to place down an air uh, sandstone slab off of it, followed by a second sandstone slab, and then a birchwood half slab like that. We're going to go ahead and repeat that row one more time. So two sandstone half slabs like this and a birchwood half slab like so. Uh, we then want to go ahead and have another indent. So we're going to go to the second sandstone slab, place down another slab off of it, followed by a birchwood slab. And then we just want to place down two sandstone slabs like that come off those, those two right there. And we're just going to do the same thing over here to this side. So I'm just going to go and copy it over real quick. Um, if you guys, if I go a little too fast for you guys, feel free to just go ahead and look over on the other side. It's exactly the same. So like this going back and just like that. So we have our horizontal stabilizers on both sides. Last thing for us to do to finish off the fuselage is we just want to go ahead and place down a wooden trap door on top of this smooth sandstone block here. And then we're going to place down two sandstone slabs going back from the wooden trap door. Once we have that all complete guys, that's going to do it for uh, the uh, build. And um, you can see it in flight version, completely done, all good to go. If you guys are interested in sticking around and seeing the land version of the aircraft, we'll be going ahead and we're moving on to that next. So uh, with that, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the landed version. If you guys are just building the in-flight version, you guys are good to go. Hope you enjoy the build. And anyways, for those of you guys who want to build this thing landed, let's move on to the landed version. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to uh, putting the landing gear on. Landing gear is pretty simple overall, and uh, we're going to start off by working on the front wheel, and then we'll move on to the uh, rear ones. So uh, to go ahead and get started, we're going to need to break a little bit of our fuselage to actually get these things to fit. Again, I want to make sure that you guys have built this correctly and up to a certain height. So make sure that you have a uh, block of, or basically three blocks of space from the smooth sandstone block up here. The front, down like that. We can also check the belly portion right here. So we can go down from this smooth sandstone block here. Make sure we have two blocks of clearance from the ground like that. Very important. If, you have, if it's one block too high or one block too low, you're going to have this thing messed up and it's not going to sit right. So make sure that that's correct. Very important that you guys do so um, and everything like that. So uh, anyways, going ahead and getting started. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to break a little bit of this, this section here. So we're going to go ahead and break these first four wooden trap doors. Uh, we're going to break the smooth sandstone blocks that the wooden trap doors were connected on as well. Now, on the bottom here, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three of these quartz slabs. We're also going to place down a quartz upside down, or sorry, quartz upside down staircase in that direction, like so underneath it. We're then going to place down a cobblestone wall coming down from the quartz upside down stair, followed by a quartz uh, upside down stair on the bottom of this uh, cobblestone wall facing that direction. And we're also going to place down a quartz top slab on the bottom of this um, this quartz stair. 
We want to place down a block of coal, come off the quartz top slab going toward the back, followed by a stone button on both sides of that block, block of coal. We're also going to place down a lever that's going to be on top of the block of coal connected to the, or a little bit to make it look like it connects to the uh, quartz stair. On both sides of the quartz stair, we're going to place down a wooden sign like that. On the front of the quartz stair, we're going to place down a stone button. And on the cobblestone wall here, we're going to place down a, um, we're going to place down a iron frame with a glass block in it. We will need to break this uh, stone button real quick, and we're also going to place down a sign on that uh, cobblestone wall as well to kind of finish it off like so. Now we also need to show that the uh, doors are open for the landing gear. So for this, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three upside down uh, sandstone stairs, like just like that on the side there. And we just want to go and place down a row of uh, three there of signs along the side there of them or on the back of the stairs like so. So you should, you should get some you should get something that looks like this for the front landing wheel. And once you guys have that done, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the back ones. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our rear landing gear. Now this uh these uh landing gear here are gonna be a little bit different and are gonna be a little bit more um a little bit more challenging than the front one was. So for these we're gonna need to go ahead and go back to this section here. Now we have this row here of four of cobblestone walls. We're gonna go and break uh, one and two of the cobblestone walls going toward the front. After we have that done, we're gonna break one, two, and three of these smooth sandstone blocks here, and we're gonna swap these out for quartz ones. We also wanna go and uh, basically break these three uh, smooth sandstone blocks right above here completely out. We're gonna break these three uh, quartz, or uh, basically sandstone top slabs. So we're going to break those three sandstone top subs out and we're also going to break down if these break out these three smooth sandstone blocks right above here. Now uh, we're going to break out these three smooth sandstone blocks, replace these with quartz full blocks. We also want to place down a row of three of quartz half subs going across here, followed by a row of three of quartz up sandstone stairs across this section right here. Now once that's all done and uh, sorted out there, uh, we can go ahead and kind of build off of this. Now we're going to need to go into our inventory, we're going to need some cobblestone walls. Uh, we're also going to need a stone brick stair and also some stone brick half slabs. Now for this, we're going to go ahead and uh, go toward the front section here. So kind of like the nearest toward our front. We're going to place down a stone brick top slab that's going to come off this quartz um, full block like this. After that, uh, we're stone brick stair or that quartz top slab, we're going to place down a stone brick stair facing that direction like so. On the bottom of this stone brick stair, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall with a item frame with a glass block in it and a sign to cover it up like that for the light on the landing gear. On the bottom of this cobblestone wall we're going to place down an upside down uh, quartz stair with a sign on both sides of it and also on the a stone button on the back of the block like that. Um, after that we're going to place down a quartz top slab on the bottom of the quartz stair like that. Uh, we will then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some nether brick stairs. We're going to place down a Nether brick upside down stair coming off the quartz top slab, followed by a second upside down stair behind it. On top of these two upside down stairs, we're going to place down two uh, regular nether brick stairs on top of, of, of the uh, upside down stairs to kind of connect up and look something like that. Once that's all complete, uh, we want to go ahead and go to, we want to grab ourselves some smooth sandstone. We're going to place down a row of three across these three uh, smooth sandstone stairs. We're going to place down one, two, and three. We're going to go and place down another row of three going down like that of our smooth sandstone. And then we just want to place down a row of three of um, sandstone top steps and we will need to actually delete the sign here so go ahead and delete that and a row three of sandstone top steps like that and that's going to kind of create your landing gear right there uh, for the rear and you'll just take that design copy it over to the left side and you'll have your landing gear on both sides anyways once you guys have that all complete that is going to do it for the landed and in-flight version of the blackburn buccaneer hope you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use um if you guys do abuse this design i do i say you guys give me proper credit for it this being thing from a sign up on the build to a link to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites just be sure you're proper credit for the build that's all i ask for when doing these trolls it helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of um videos so as long as you guys give me credit for it you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on and that guys thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been garrett 2x4 and i'll see you guys next time.